Many Lightroom users have embraced a raw workflow. Many Lightroom users have embraced a raw workflow. The extra data in a raw file gives you a lot of information that can be used to create the best image. With minimal work, you can create a new image from the raw file and then pass that file to Perfectly Clear to optimize exposure and color. Remember, the adjustments you make in Lightroom are just settings applied to the file. These adjustments are stored in a sidecar file or a database and don't actually get applied until you export, print, or save a photo. Unfortunately, Adobe doesn't allow any third-party plugin vendors to write to this sidecar file, which contains the corrections to be applied to the original raw photo. The perfectly clear improvements must be added to a new lossless quality copy of the image. This conversion is an Adobe requirement for all Lightroom plugins. Before you can work with the raw file, it needs to be interpreted into a high quality image that can be used by perfectly clear. In Lightroom, you should apply only minimal processing to the image before handing off to Perfectly Clear. If needed, you can make the following adjustments in Lightroom. Consider making any geometric adjustments, such as rotating, straightening, or cropping first. Many lenses introduce additional issues to a photo. Take advantage of a lens correction preset if it's available for your camera and lens combination. This can remove any lens distortion and vignetting. While in the lens correction module, you can also enable chromatic aberration correction to remove any color fringe at the edges. You might also find the upright adjustment in the transform section useful to compensate for distortion caused by the camera's position or angle. If your RAW file suffers from major exposure issues, you can use the recovery tools in Lightroom, such as the shadows and highlight sliders to get a good base image. This step is optional and is only needed for raw files that suffer from very poor exposure. You should skip the vibrance and saturation controls and instead use the color controls in Perfectly Clear. It's important that you don't choose the auto correction option as this will provide Adobe corrections that can damage your photo because highlights will be lost, colors will be shifted, and depth distorted. Also, avoid the clarity and the dehaze sliders as they can negatively affect how perfectly clear can enhance the depth or contrast of the image. To save time, you might find it useful to create a base Lightroom preset, one that zeroes out all the other adjustment sliders and makes these recommended adjustments with one click. Simply take an image that you've modified and locate the panel on the left. In the preset section, Click the plus sign to open a new dialog. In the new dialog box, choose all the options you want to store. I'll call this preset Perfectly Clear Base Image and click OK. It's now stored as a user preset and can make all of these recommended adjustments with just one click. Now that the base image is optimized, let's hand it off from Lightroom to Perfectly Clear. While there are two ways to access Perfectly Clear in Lightroom, Let's explore using the Edit In command. Select one or more images in your library and choose Photo, Edit In, Edit In Perfectly Clear Complete V3. You now need to specify how the new files should be handed off. Select What to Edit and Copy File Options if needed and click Edit. For a raw image, choose to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. This creates a new master file, which Perfectly Clear can work with. Choose either a TIFF or a PSD file for the maximum quality. We recommend that you set the color space to sRGB. This is the native color workflow for the Perfectly Clear plugin. But if you prefer to stick with Adobe RGB or Profoto RGB, that's okay too. It's just possible that your images might look a little more saturated. Be sure to set the bit depth to 16 bits to hand off the most information in the new file. This way, Perfectly Clear has the most details to work with. We apply a special engine for 16-bit photos. It's important to note that most monitors aren't capable of displaying all 16 bits of information. This will produce more natural shadows and highlights. You can leave the resolution and compression settings at their default values. When ready, click the Edit button to send the image to Perfectly Clear. 
perfectly clear goes to work immediately, automatically correcting your photo. By default, the Intelligent Auto preset is applied. Select an appropriate preset or make any adjustments to your image. When you're satisfied with the enhanced image, click Save to process the image and return it to your Lightroom library. So that's all there is to processing your raw images in your Lightroom library with Perfectly Clear. Be sure to watch the rest of our video tutorials to understand all your options. If you'd like to keep your raw files in their native format, check out the video Non-Destructive Editing in Perfectly Clear with Lightroom and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.